lovely viewers! Welcome back to English with Annette. In this video, we're making an omelette. Here are some of the things you'll need. A bowl, a whisk, some eggs, leek, a wooden spatula, a grater, cheese, and a frying pan. Remember, you're becoming a part of our journey, so please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by ringing the bell. Your support truly means the world to me. Thank you. Oh, and drop a comment below to let me know if you tried the recipe and how it worked out for you. Now, let's get started. We're going to start with a bowl, a whisk and some eggs. Crack four eggs and whisk them. This is what you get. Whisked eggs. To assist you in learning these words, I'll provide a PDF in the description box below for you. You can print it out and write the corresponding word for each herb in your language. The herbs for this recipe are coriander, parsley, tarragon. Add herbs, sea salt and black pepper to the bowl with the four whisked eggs. Time for leek. Now, slice the leek crosswise to achieve small ring-shaped pieces. Next up you need a grater and some cheese. It's time to shred some cheese, but just be careful. The graters are usually very sharp. Here's the result. Some shredded cheese. Go and get the butter. And the frying pan, of course. Remember, it's easier to use a small frying pan, such as a 20 cm frying pan, especially if you're new to making omelettes. A smaller omelette will be easier to flip. I'm pretty sure this applies for pancakes as well. You also need a wooden spatula. I picked a wooden one, as a wooden spatula is often preferred over a metal one for use in a frying pan, because it is less likely to scratch or damage the surface of non-stick pans. Place a little bit of butter in the frying pan and turn on the heat. Also add a lid to the frying pan when you're melting the butter. This will help you save energy as the lid traps the heat inside the pan, preventing it from escaping into the surrounding air. Another way of putting it, the butter will melt faster. Now whisk all the ingredients together and then get ready to pour them into the pan. Not everything at once though. I suggest you use a ladle for this. Do you remember the shredded cheese you did earlier? Now it's time to go and get it and sprinkle it over the omelette. About spatulas, you can use a wide one or a narrow one. I would suggest a wide one, especially if you're a beginner, as this will make it easier to flip the omelette. Okay, so this is a flipped omelette. Typically, it takes around one or two minutes for the bottom side of the omelette to cook before flipping it over to cook on the other side. However, this can vary. If you have a really thick omelette, obviously it's going to take a little longer. So here we are. I just added some veggies. You can add some bread and other veggies, whatever you prefer. The recipe and the instructions will follow, along with a note on measurements. Please feel free to share your suggestions for additional ingredients. And let me know if you found the process challenging or straightforward. Did you pick up some useful words in English? If you did, please hit that subscribe button.
One cup is not the same in the UK and America in terms of measurement. In the United States, one cup is equivalent to approximately 240 milliliters. However, in the UK, one cup is often considered to be 10 imperial fluid ounces, or approximately 284 milliliters. So there's a slight difference between the two measurements. But for most recipes the difference is small and won't affect the finished dish. Thank you so much for watching! Until next time, happy cooking! It's important to... Thank you.